morning everyone welcome to the english class so do animals have feelings just like we humans animals do have feelings they can feel emotions they do feel love anger possessiveness disappointment everything just like we all humans and just like humans animals also have strong parental instincts and they'll do anything to protect their young ones children today we are going to learn about such parental instincts of a mother rabbit and how rabbits make good mothers in real life have you all seen a rabbit see we are going to learn the chapter chapter 5 the way of nature in your english workbook and that is in page number 28 please take your textbook let's read the story mom sally has got babies jane turned around to see her four year old daughter tara jumping in excitement tara dragged her to the rabbit enclosure a large netted cage made out of an old refrigerator crate they had put quantities of dry grass and an old wool and sweater to provide warmth for sally's family as they peered into the cage they saw a little flurry movement behind the tufts of grass they opened the cage door and gently pushed aside the grass there on a snow white bed lay nine perfect little rabbit babies so tiny they looked like pink mice where did the soft white bread come from they hadn't put any cotton wool so one day tara who is miss jane's daughter she was looking into the cage of her rabbit and what was the name of her rabbit her rabbit's name was sally and to her surprise she sees that sally has got babies she has given birth to baby rabbits just like this and tara was so excited to see the rabbit babies and she was jumping in excitement so tara and jane opened the rabbit cage and sees these tiny little babies and their mother sally and how did these babies look these babies were lying on this white bed and they looked like pink mice like small pink mice but then what is this white bed that they saw there they did not give any cotton to the babies or the mother rabbit then how did it come let's read the story sally was in looking too happy so they closed the cage door she came up to the door and jane was amazed to see that all her chest fur had gone so what happened when jane and tara looked at mother rabbit sally they saw that all the fur that sally had on her chest had gone where did it go as she stared in surprise and wonder sally bent down and started nibbling at the few remaining wisps of fur on her chest so jane and tara was wondering how did that white bed come there it looked like cotton but they never gave cotton for sally and her babies so to their surprise when they peeped into the cage they saw that sally was nibbling on the fur she had on her chest the remaining fur she had on her chest she was trying to pull out the fur from her chest and she was making a bed for her babies with this fur now jane knew where the snowy bed had come from so now jane knows that this white bed was nothing but the fur that sally had on her chest it was sally's fur she had plucked out her own fur on a cold january night so that her newborn babies could have a fluffy warm bed how cold she must be herself jane carefully wrapped a hot water bottle in a towel and put it under the straw in the cage this would keep sally and her babies warm so this mother rabbit sally was worried about how her babies would feel in the cold january nights so she plucked her own fur from her chest and made a warm cozy bed for her tiny little babies and when jane saw this she was worried that sally herself might be feeling very cold because the fur on her chest was gone so what did jane do jane wrapped up a bottle of hot water in a towel and put it under the straw in the cage so that sally and her babies 
would be kept warm. Now, within a few days, her fur started to grow back. The babies opened their eyes after 10 days. So when these tiny babies are born, they are born without their eyes open. Their eyes remain closed for a few days. And when they are healthy enough, after being taken care by their mother, they open their eyes after a few days. So here, Sally Rabbit's babies were growing up and they opened their eyes after 10 days. They had now turned into cute little balls of white fur. So they started growing fur and Sally also started growing her fur back. The fur she had on her chest with which she made a white cozy bed for her babies. So Sally also started growing the fur back and her little babies also started growing the fur. And they, they were looking so cute, so beautiful like little balls of white fur. Jane and Tara led them out to turn around in the courtyard and by the 10th week they had fully grown. So they were growing up, they were happily playing in the courtyard because Th Jane and Tara let them play outside on the ground in the courtyard. So they were jumping, hopping, running around, happily playing around with their mother and they grew up and after 10 weeks they became fully grown rabbits like this. Children, I hope you enjoyed the story and you can learn more about different animals and their young ones if you do a research on it. You can do the research with the help of your parents. It will be very interesting. I suggest you do that. Now that's all for today. We will meet in the next class. Till then, bye.